Well, hello, boys and girls. Mr. Jameson couldn't be here today as it's Christmas time, so he sent his cousin from Lapland to do the simultaneous equations problems video. So, we have a little bit of a problem. We have sacks of toys, and we need to know the weight of the contents before we can put them in the sleigh. So, sack one weighs 15 kilograms, and it contains three dolls and one toy car. Sack two weighs 10 kilograms, and it contains one doll and two toy cars. And we need to know, boys and girls, what is the weight of sack three with four dolls and three toy cars. Alright, so how we go about solving this is we're going to use simultaneous equations. And Mr. Jameson tells me that you boys and girls are very, very good at simultaneous equations. So we're going to use that technique to solve this little problem. So what we need to do is we need to take our sentences and we turn them into equations. Okay, so our first sentence says three dolls and one toy car is 15 kilograms and the second sentence says one doll and two toy cars is 10 kilograms. So you can see that all I've done is I've taken the sentences that I was given and I've turned them into easy to read equations. So we've got D standing for dolls and C standing for toy cars. So it's nice and simple to see. And we're going to use our elimination method but first of all we have to multiply our top equation by 2. Why do we multiply by 2? Well, it's so that our coefficients of our second term can be the same, so that they can be eliminated. Okay? So, this equation is then going to look like 6d plus 2c is equal to 30. So 15 times 2 is 30. So we have to multiply all the way through. And when we've done that, we're going to score through this equation. And that's just a little technique so that we don't have too many equations in the page confusing everything. Okay, so our next step then is we're going to try and eliminate our C term. So, draw a line like so. And because the signs are the same here, we're going to subtract. So we have D minus 6D gives us negative 5D. 2 minus 2c gives us nothing, so that checks out, so that's okay. Then we've got 10 take away 30 gives us negative 20. So if negative 5d is negative 20, we want to divide negative 20 by negative 5. Excuse the big plastic line in the middle here, and we've got d then is 4. So the weight of a doll is 4 kilograms. Now we need to find out what the weight of a car is. So we're going to substitute d equals 4 into one of our equations. So let's pick one together. Let's we'll pick this one. d plus 2c equals 10. So we have d. Instead of d we put 4 because we substitute. So 4 plus 2c is equal to 10. We want to bring the 4 over to the other side. When we change its sign. Remember, it changes, change its side. We change its sign. And then 2c is equal to 6, so that's nice and simple, c is equal to 3, okay, excellent, so that's us got d is 4 and c is 3, so let's look back and see what we were asked to do in the first place, it says what is the weight of sack 3 with 4 dolls and 3 toy cars, so let's squish that in here, we'll just do this in blue, because this is the last part of the solution, so 4 dolls, Double check it again, four dolls and three toy cars. Four dolls and three toy cars. Well, that's going to be four times four. And three toy cars. Four to four is a 16. Plus nine is 25 kilograms. So the weight of sack three equals 25 kilograms. And I think... With some practice, I'll be able to lift that into the sleigh for Christmas Eve. Ho, ho, ho.